thought of my life going this direction? Did you have dreams in the past of what you wanted to do? And somehow, none of it turned out the way that you had planned. Well, don't despair. God's plan is still at work in your life. And what God said shall come to pass. I want you to find out today how and why on Paula as Bishop Eddie Long continues to help you through the process. Welcome to the program and what I absolutely know is the sovereignty of God for you today. When our lives are not going the way that we plan, we often ask, why God? Why didn't that person love me enough to stay and help raise our children? Why did I have to go through this or why did that happen to me? God, why haven't I been able to pursue my dream career or buy that house? Why did I lose it? Why not, God? Why not? Well, today I have with me one of the greatest generals in the body of Christ. He has a heartfelt word straight from God regarding his unending love for you and his plan and purpose in your life, which, by the way, I want you to hear this. It's unalterable. God does not change. There's no variance in him. He shows you the end from the beginning, and what God said will come to pass. Bishop Eddie Long is senior pastor and visionary leader of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Lithonia, Georgia. He's with us to discuss a very timely and relevant subject for so many that are watching, life's interruptions becoming God opportunities. Welcome my good friend and a hero of our faith, Bishop Eddie Long. Bishop, I am honored to have you back. Thank you, thank you. Love you. It is, I mean, it's profound. Thank you. Thank we you. have been talking out of the elect lady, the book you've written, Life's Interruptions Becoming Godly Opportunities. And it's, even though it says the elect lady, it really is the principles. The principles, exactly. uh, For everyone, because yeah. women aren't the only people to experience pain and process. Exactly. <laughs> we all go through it. And it's, it's, the, it's, the three, it's the three Ps, pain, process, and positioning. Woo! Because that, that third one is the reason for the first two. And really what God's whole intention for us is to get us into position. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why even taking it from Second John and talking about it and talking about Mary's interruption in life and putting her in the right position for the eternal purpose, which goes far beyond what we could imagine. Uh, you have to deal with the pain and the process. You know, Bishop, I'm glad you brought that up because we think about it. Here's a young girl, probably about 14 years old. I mean, she is plans for future, hope, everything else. And suddenly the Spirit of God comes to her, impregnates her, and by Mosaic law, she should have been put to death. Exactly. I'm sure she had to question, wonder what's really going on. Will anybody believe me? Uh, will I make it through this? So much so that she goes down to Elizabeth's house, and her parents could not even handle what God had said to her. I mean, no one could, because they perhaps would have followed the letter of the law, doing what most good religious church people would do. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and how many people get killed by some good church religious people thinking they were not get killed when things are done differently in a God way, but a way they've never known before. Well, I think number one, number one thing, I, going back to Mary, even before going to Liz, she, uh, no one, I, when we preach it and talk about it and people read it, they never really deal with, because of the way society has become a little bit more tolerant, the embarrassment, the, 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 the talk, the pain of my dream, the dream of a young girl is to get right. married, to be a virgin, to be married, to go into all of this and the wonderful things, etc. And great disgrace was brought upon the family. You know, Joseph had to go pray and whether, you know, could, can I go through this with this woman knowing that at the, at the Shepherd's Club, uh, they really going to be talking about me and dogging me and you, now you're telling me this. Everything was interrupted. Mary wanted to get married and have a baby. God wanted her to get married to him and have his son. Which one is the greater? And through the pain of the process, she got the most, the richest reward that she could ever imagine. And sometimes when we think God's taking away our dream, he's basically saying, what you're thinking is too small. 
Yeah. I've got something so big, so phenomenal, so wonderful for you that you you just can't even imagine. And Bishop, you just said it, that the pain, she felt that it was loss in her life. All transition feels like loss. It feels like loss. Because you're leaving something to embrace an unknown past from a familiar, or an unknown future from a familiar past. And that feels funny to us because it initially feels like loss. And so I think a lot of us fight the process, the place of extremity that God uses, like you said, to position us. And, and, and the greatest problem we have today is really a familiarity. Mm -hmm. We get comfortable in things that God really only meant for us to pass through. And so whenever God gets us to the point that he really wants to move us to the next level, the next level, we're sitting here and we just want to hold on to where we are, even if it's miserable, because to say, at least I know.